Hello everybody. Welcome to the 7th part of this series about dog breeds. Today, I'll be giving information about Norwegian Lundehund breed. Norwegian Lundehund breed is a rare and fascinating breed who has superhero like traits with extra toes and pliable legs. These ancient arctic dogs were once working dogs that embarked on puffin hunting expeditions. scrawling up vertical and craggy cliff walls and wiggling their way into the tight crevices where the seabirds kept their nests once this puffins bird became a protected species these dog breed went on a brink of extinction before becoming companion pets nowadays this breed is kept as a family pet and has a reputation for being a kind hearted and sociable breed This is a small dog breed who weigh less than 30 pounds and have durable easy to manage double coats and they shed moderately. This breed needs an hour or so of exercise each day and thanks to their arctic relatives can handle cold weather and wet conditions. They are sensitive, playful and energetic. This breed is suitable for active family and it is not surprising that their climbing abilities make this breed a great hiking companion that's always up for an adventure both striking and majestic looking this breed has some wildly unique traits that have been passed down from their ices ancestors like fox like triangular ears wedge shaped heads and a tail that gracefully curls over their back but some extraordinary traits which set them apart from just about any other breed on earth are miraculously flexible head which can crane backward and touch their spine this is an evolutionary trait from hunting puffin bird in narrow caves they can extend their front leg which enables them to lay flat to the side also these dogs ears can act like trap doors clamping shut to protect themselves from pecking puffin beaks or rough and rocky terrain this is a small to medium sized breed with males measuring in at 13 to 15 inches and females slightly smaller at 12 to 14 inches they have agile rectangular bodies and sport all weather double coats that include a harsh outer coat and a dense but soft undercoat which is perfect for cold weather and it also keeps them warm the coloring of their coat ranges from reddish brown to tan and they most commonly have white markings on their heads they also commonly have white gray black and red markings their almond shaped eyes are yellowish brown to brown and the nose and lips are black This is a very energetic and loyal breed who are sensitive, smart, a good problem solver, affectionate and loves to have fun. Though they can be a tad wary of strangers, but if properly socialized and trained, these dogs can make for excellent companion animals and can be a good fit for the first time pet parents as well as long as they get at least 30 to 60 minutes of vigorous walking or playing every day. a good way is to use those mentally stimulating food puzzles and set aside time for short but productive training sessions this breed is happiest in homes where they can be with their pet people and can live in the suburbs or in an apartment equally well given they get enough exercise they can do well with other pets as long as they are socialized from an early age as with all breeds This breed should also be supervised when playing with children. This is a fairly low maintenance breed. They should be brushed at least once a week to help remove loose hairs and dirt from their harsh external coat and soft undercoat. A weekly nail trim is recommended to prevent overgrowing and brush the dog's teeth on daily basis. Due to their coats, they cope well in wind, rain, and the cold and are happiest when walking somewhere purposefully clever and fun loving these breeds are a plus training candidates especially when 
day is mixed into the positive reinforcement sessions always keep the treats handy and be generous with praise and head patting these dogs are sensitive and clever and will enjoy this one on one time with their pet parents this is a generally healthy breed that can live long and good life with life span up to 15 years however there are some unique health problem this rare dog breed faces that owner should be aware of including gastrointestinal issues intestinal lymphangiectasia is a health problem that disproportionately affect this breed the sign for this tends to show up in the middle aged dogs and can include chronic vomiting diarrhea and weight loss this condition can be managed on a long term basis with a very low fat diet small intestinal bacterial overgrowth which can make it difficult for dogs to absorb nutrients and lead to diarrhea and inflammatory bowel disease which can cause chronic or recurrent vomiting and diarrhea these are the other gi issues that are prominent in this breed they should also be evaluated for luxating patellas and eye issues the next few seconds will give you a summary of the entire breed for better understanding for more information you can also visit akc.org which is official website of american kennel club if you find the information given in this video helpful don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for information on other breeds as well it's my sincere request to everyone always adopt and not shop